gravitational module works and how ma a magnetic method works to stop and slow down meters. Now we're back in the lab to demonstrate how the stopping power meters educational module and just common magnets can slow or stop a kilowatt hour meter. But first to do that, I have to remove the cover from the meter. Again, this is a rotational disc. You will notice that it has a black mark on it. We put this black mark on it so you can more easily see how fast the rotational disc is turning. Now I'll turn the unit on so that you can see it turning. As you can see how fast it's turning. It's under full load. Now I'll turn the stopping power meters educational module on. And you see right there how it just stopped it dead. Turn it back off. Resumes normal speed. Turn it back on. Bing. It stops it. Now I'll do a potentiometer adjustment to show you how that affects it. When it's not in resonance, it almost resumes full speed. But when I turn the potentiometer until it hits resonance, you will see it slows and stops it. You will also notice a kind of a chattering sound. That's what happens to the rotating disc when it's near the, re the resonant point that stops it. It chatters. Again, I will see there it stops it again. I will turn off the stopping power meters educational module. Off. It resumes normal speed again because it's no longer getting the signal from the stopping power meters educational module. I'll turn it back on. Bing. It that stops again. Okay, now I'll turn off the loads for a minute to get some magnets to show you how the magnetic method works. These are ordinary household ceramic type magnets. I put north and south pole on them. This little thing right here is just a little piece of perforated board that I put in between it to separate the magnets. I put them back together and these are magnets as you can see. common magnets, not too powerful, but modestly powerful. Now I'll turn the load back on. I have to turn my stopping power meters educational module off if I'm going to use it with the magnets this time. Now I'm approaching the rotating disc with the magnets, but I'm not touching it. And if you observe closely, there is about a 20% slowdown. You also may notice that it's loping a little bit, the rotating disc is loping a little bit. And when I pull it away, it speeds up. Now, you have to have the polarity of the magnets correct because if you go the other way, it will cause the disc to speed up because it will counteract the braking magnets. See how much it sped up? There's the normal speed. Speed up, sped up, speed. Now, I'll put it back to the slow down direction. See how it's slowing it down? Normal speed, slowing back down. Normal speed, slowing back down. This concludes our demonstration of the stopping power meters educational module and the magnetic methods for slowing down and stopping watt hour meters. Thank you. Stopping power meters. This exciting manual contains over 45 pages jam packed with interesting information about power meters and how they are stopped and slowed down. It describes in detail over nine load side methods to slow down and stop kilowatt hour meters. The design of the stopping power meters educational module is based upon one of those methods. It is sold for educational purposes only. Also available from Consumertronics is the IG manual, which describes about six methods actually applied to the meter itself to slow down and stop kilowatt hour meters, including details about magnetic methods demonstrated in this video. And our kilowatt hour meters manual describes in detail kilowatt hour meter theory and operation. Get all three exciting manuals for a special price. Call or write Consumertronics today for more info. This ends the presentation of Stopping Power Meters the video by Top Secret Consumertronics.
This educational video taught you many of the basics associated with kilowatt hour meters. This video also showed you a few methods some people are using.